All right, so when it comes to putting your canoe in the river, you wanna put it along the side of the bank where you have a slow current. Don't, don't get in anything more than about three miles an hour or it's gonna pull you away. Now, the first thing that you do is you put your canoe in, align it up and down the river, then in order to stay stable, you never stand up in a canoe. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is put your paddle on top of it like this. I can put weight here and it's gonna to push to the right and the left of the canoe and not roll it. As an example, if I were to have the canoe in the water and step on this side, it picks up this opposite side and that's how canoes roll. Now, if I put this in the middle and put my weight here and then get in the canoe, it's much more stable and it keeps it from rolling. So you can never stand up in a canoe. If you put your weight on either of those outer sides, the canoe rolls and that's what we wanna prevent. The other thing is, I can put my paddle straight down in the mud here on the, against the bank or just outside in the, in the current while someone else gets in and out. Or I can put my, side, my, my paddle on the uh, bank side as I enter to help stabilize it. Kind of depends on how deep it is and where you're at. The thing to watch out for is current. If you stick your paddle down in the current, it'll grab it and that alone can flip your, your canoe. That's why I personally prefer this entry technique when it comes to getting in the river. All right, so let's do this. Okay, right now, if I were to put pressure on this side of the canoe, it's gonna roll. If I put it on the other side, it's gonna roll. So in order to keep that from happening, I'm gonna put my weight right here, because if I put pressure down here, it doesn't have that rolling tendency. The other thing I can do is to balance my paddle right here against the edge of the, the bank, and that keeps everything stable so that it doesn't roll. As you can see, I've got a firm grip on this back paddle, and that's what's keeping everything from flipping on me. There's many different types of canoes. Mine is a one or two or three man whitewater canoe. So I end up kneeling down in it and it's shaped just a little bit different. I can sit, I can kneel, but what I'll do is I put these, these thigh straps over the top and that gives me control of the canoe with my hips, okay? It gives me more abilities that you wouldn't see in a normal canoe. Also, this canoe has a softer chine, which means that it it's gonna roll a lot easier, but that also gives me a lot more control. So when you're in a traditional canoe, you'll end up having a flatter bottom and less chine. Now as I come across this current, I wanna go straight up behind this little patch of grass because I know there's an eddy there. So I basically have an upstream current. And as soon as I pass outside of that eddy, I'm gonna go into the downstream current. So I have to change my angle to 45 degrees against the current. pulling out here into the current again. Because I'm going at a 45 degree angle against the current, I can almost paddle without doing a J stroke. And essentially what I do is dig deep and scoot my hips. Now if I need to do a J stroke to adjust, then I do the J stroke to adjust. Okay, in order to do the J stroke, I'm gonna paddle forward and then push out. Forward and push out, forward 
and push out. That forward moves me forward. The push out stabilizes it and keeps me from overcorrecting. So there's a bunch of different things that we need to be able to do with the canoe. We need to be able to travel straight line, we need to be able to slide sideways, and we need to be able to start and stop. Now when it comes to traveling in a straight line, you're going to use a combination of strokes. One of them is the forward stroke, where I have my hand high and forward. The other one is the J stroke, where I paddle forward and then I push out. And essentially it's a forward stroke with a rudder correction at the end that gives me the ability to move forward and then correct. Forward and then correct. If I want to turn, I just keep turning until I can straighten myself out. So dig and push. Dig and push. So the J stroke is a real simple stroke that you move forward and then correct. Okay. Now when it comes to turning, you want to Place your paddle in the water and close the scissors on the back. Okay? Paddle and scissors. So that's your left hand turn. To stop, just place the paddle in the water. For a right hand turn, I do the opposite. I place my paddle and I close the gap in the front. Place my paddle, close the gap in the front. Basically closing the scissors. When I want to stop, I just place the paddle in the water and I stop. When you're trying to dock and stop yourself, essentially you're going to do a high brace slide. You take your right hand low, your left hand high, right up at your forehead and you're just going to swing it back and forth and pull. What this is going to do is it's going to slide you sideways along the river. Once the canoe gets going in one direction, it builds up inertia. So once I've got it started, if I want to stop, I'll either have to turn or place my paddle in the water to, to slow it down. When it comes to a rudder stroke, if you can get a good amount of forward force, all you have to do is place the paddle to the side of the boat and use it like a rudder. In order to show that, we do the J stroke, our forward paddle with our little J correction. And once I get the speed up, all I have to do is just a little rudder correction in order to control the direction of my boat. When it comes to a backstroke, you basically push your hand down and then pull out. So you're going you're gonna to basically use the leverage against your boat to pull back this way. Now it's going to cause you to turn, so you need to be able to correct that turn by placing your paddle in the water to stop or starting with the J stroke. In order to move your boat sideways with just a simple push, you'll basically put the paddle in the water and pull away. The concern with this is if you go too deep, you can roll your boat. So make sure not to push down too hard. In order to move sideways, you can also grab and pull to move yourself. However, the most effective one I've found is the high brace, where you slide your paddle back and forth and adjust the pressure against the paddle to choose how fast and how smooth you move.